Video number two. What is PLR? Definition. I don't want to go too techy here, so I'll just state what Wikipedia says. Private label rights, PLR, is a concept used in internet marketing and derived from private labeling. It's a license where the author sells most or all of the intellectual property rights to their work. In other words, it's when you buy the rights to content from the author and can customize or change it in any way. Such as if I wrote a series of articles and then sold them, and the person to whom I sold them could alter them and use them however. For example, if writer A creates content, they may sell the private label rights to writer B and allow writer B to make certain allowable changes, add their name and company, etc., and then resell the content. In the PLR process, the original writer creates the content and then sells it for a one-time fee while keeping copyright. The buyer is then free to use, alter, and distribute it in accordance with the PLR agreement. This agreement is set by the original writer and might include rebranding, modifying, or adding one's name to the product. Private label rights can vary from writer to writer, as it is the original content owner who decides how the content can be used and altered. In other words, it's not as simple as just buying content and doing whatever you want with it. The original writer usually has certain restrictions. Rights explained. There are several categories of content rights, and it's important to understand the differences so that you can make the most of your business and content without having to worry about legal or plagiarism problems. Resell rights. Normal resell rights allow the buyer of the original content to resell that content. Usually, the content must be sold in its original state, and it contains a PUO, personal use only, disclaimer. Sometimes there are restrictions, such as a certain price requirement given by the original writer. In this form, the original buyer can sell the product, but the subsequent buyers cannot. Master resell rights. In this category, the buyer can sell both the content and the resell rights. This means that not only can the original buyer sell the content, subsequent buyers can sell it as well. Rebranding rights. With rebranding, the original buyer of the content can replace the writer's links with their own. However, the buyer cannot alter the content of the writing. Rebranding is normally offered along with normal resell rights, so that only the original buyer can resell the content. Private label rights. As stated above, when the buyer purchases private label rights, they may alter or edit content and resell it. This type of rights gives the buyer the most freedom with the original content. However, the original creator may still include certain restrictions, which must be followed. Giveaway rights. Giveaway rights allow the purchaser of the content to give it away. The purchaser may not claim ownership of the content or charge for the content. In most cases, the content cannot be significantly altered. 